Hi everybody, this is KS Poppy. Welcome to my tutorial for Papa's Donutteria. This is the dough station. Across the bottom you have your different flavors of dough. In the middle is your cutting board with your three spots that you can cut your donuts. There are five different types of dough that you can unlock during the game. To make donuts, we're going to drag dough balls up to the spots on the cutting board. If you get the wrong dough, don't worry. You can hit the red X and delete them and you can start over. When you get the right dough, you can choose the cutters. Again, if you get the wrong thing, don't worry. You can hit the red X, that'll delete those and you can go ahead and make you up some perfect donuts. Once you get all three cut, it'll automatically send them over to the fry station. This is the fry station. You can fry 12 donuts at a time. If you make more than six donuts to send to the fry station, they'll line up behind the six on the grate and as you put them into the fryer, they'll pop up. You can speed up cooking time by using this boost button. I'm going to show you how to delete bad donuts. If you're taking an order or you're handing out an order when the alarms go off or if you don't have the alarms and you forget about your donut, you could burn it. See this donut is burned so we could take it, we could put it into this bad bin right here. I'm going to go ahead and drop these other ones onto the OK bin and we're going to go over to the next station. Now these are undercooked. They're not cooked all the way, so we don't want to use them. We'll put them over in the bad bin so we can delete from that screen also. I'm going to show you the different cooking temperatures. The first one I'm going to show you is an undercooked donut. You want to look at the circle right under the donut. See how that's yellow? We're going to go ahead and flip it over. This donut is not cooked all the way through. This would be a raw donut. Once that circle's all the way yellow, we're going to take it off of there. Now we're going to make a perfect donut. Now we're going to be looking at the circle again, except this time it'll go from yellow to orange. And then we'll flip it over. And once the circle is completely orange, that means the donut is perfect. There we go. See, that's orange. We're going to flip it over. We're going to cook it the other side. There we go, that's perfect. Now I'm going to show you a burned donut, or an overcooked donut. I'm going to use the boost button because this is going to take a while. You'll see the alarm going off and I'm going to continue to cook it because I want that circle to turn red. That means it's burned. That's like if you forget it in the fryer and you come back and it's burned. There's the red circle. I'm going to flip it over. We're going to go ahead and burn the other side also. Okay, there we go. It's completely overcooked, so we'll put that over. And I'll show you, this is a raw donut, a perfect donut, and an overcooked donut all next to each other so you can see the difference. This is the build station. The build station has three parts. The first one's donut storage. You can hold 18 donuts on there, and you can pick and choose which ones you want to pull down to work on. This is the fillings and icings. You have eight standard icings, or nine standard icings and eight standard fillings, plus one holiday filling and one holiday icing. And this is the drizzles and toppings. You have eight each toppings and drizzles that are standard, and then two holiday drizzles and one holiday topping.
Okay, now we're going to talk about icing the donuts. You do not want to ice them only on the edge. You'll leave blank spots of your donut and that will count down on your points. What I'm showing you right now is how not to ice your donuts. You can see the blank spots here around the edges. Those were not iced well. Those bare spots do count against you. I'll show you some more icing. Okay, if you have the icing guide, you can see that the there is red around the icing guide. What you want to look for is not dipping at the edge like that. You want to center it and you want the icing guide to be green like that. That's perfect. That is a perfect donut. You see that one has bare spots. This one has bare spots. This one's perfect. It's completely covered. That's what you want. Now let's top the donuts. You want things to be symmetrical, the same on both sides. This one I made not symmetrical. It's only got stuff on one side. This one, don't make things in crazy patterns because you won't get everything covered. And this one, it kind of has stuff on both sides, but not really. It's not symmetrical. It's not the same. And the same goes with the toppings. You can't just put it on one side. This one has got pretty good coverage, but you're still missing a big chunk off one side. And if you're going to do the line, make sure the line goes all the way around because you want you get the best points if it's symmetrical. This is a midline. This is one side. This is the other. You want them to both have the same amount. This one only has things primarily on one side, so that is not going to be good points. This is more what you want. You see that pretty much has everything the same on the one side as the other. And this is perfect. Look at this. That's what you want. It looks pretty much identical on the left and the right. Let's do some toppings. Again, don't just do one part of the donut. That'll count points down. Let's do some coconut. There we go. See, nice even back and forth motions and that will make sure everything has got good coverage. Let's make sure that everything is covered and it's symmetrical. That looks perfect. Let's check out what Alberto's perfect order looks like from the beginning. We'll start with taking his order. Looks like he wants two chocolate donuts and a vanilla donut. So we'll go over here. Like I said, don't worry. If you get the wrong dough, you can start over. There we go. Let's get the cutters. Now if you don't have the boost button, like I said, you want to keep a close eye on this. You can't speed up the cooking time, so you just have to watch it. Once the alarms start going off, that's when you know to flip it over. So we'll just watch it until it's time to flip. There we go. Perfect. Let's go ahead and flip these over and let them cook on the other side. This is a lot easier once you've saved up enough money to buy the boost button because then you could speed up the cooking time. The boost is a really handy upgrade. There we go. They're finished now. We'll take them off. And we'll send them over to the build station. Let's go ahead and put these on the tray. Now if you don't get them in the right order, you can put them back on the shelf and then you could rearrange your order to make sure they're correct. Okay, let's go ahead and dip these with chocolate and two strawberries. Fill that because he wants the filling. 
you got to do your filling first before you do your icings or it'll just automatically go to the next section and you'll miss that and that'll count off from your perfect. There we go. Remember to make things symmetrical. We're going to start with some strawberry drizzle. There we go. That looks good. Well, let's do some sprinkles. On this one, he wants two things, so we'll do the vanilla drizzle first and then the chocolate chips. All right, that looks good. Let's hand it out and see what he thinks. I think he likes that. All right, let's look at it again. This time we'll look at Yippie's perfect order. Here she comes. As you can tell, I'm further in the game with her. So she wants a vanilla, a chocolate, and a pumpkin donut. So we'll put those up onto the board. As you can see, your holiday cutter is down on the right-hand side. That's where your holiday cutter will always be. All your holiday ingredients will always be in the same spots. They'll change, but they'll always be in the same spot. I have the boost button here, so I'm going to go ahead and speed up the cooking. Make this a lot faster. Flip those over and then we'll speed up the other one. And one boost button works for both spots above it. So if you have two donuts in a row right above the boost button, it'll cook them both faster. Let's go ahead and speed up the other side. Alright, we'll take these off and then we'll speed this last one up. I really like this boost button. Saves a lot of time on gameplay. Alright, let's go over to the build section. First the vanilla, then the chocolate, then the pumpkin. Now she wants fillings and everything. So we'll put some cookie dough filling, some more cookie dough filling, and some chocolate filling. I'm going to ice them. She wants strawberry, green, which is holiday, and red. There we go, that's centered. Okay, some dreamsicle icing. Oh, that looks good. Okay, some chocolate chips. Nice and festive. And then some rainbow sprinkles. There we go. Let's see what she thinks of her order. Of course, it's perfect. And that's how you get perfect donuts. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, like and subscribe to my channel. You can share this video with your friends who also like Papa's Donutaria.